Hey, I'm typing an email. Just a second. Dear Francis, thank you so much for your interest in the YA Rebels. We appreciate your suggestions for topics. However, I would like to ask you one simple question. What the... Serious Francis. Seriously, favorite characters? What are you trying to do to us? You're making us go crazy. I mean, you saw Courtney and her spazzing about ponies. Well, I mean, I guess that's normal. But the Wolverine Claws? Well, I guess that's normal, too. Okay, so really I'm the only one who's gone completely mad. But that's a problem. Okay, so I've decided to talk about my favorite characters, like Francis suggested. But first I want to apologize for my um, less than attractiveness today. I haven't fixed my hair much because it's a Sunday, and I am back in my dorm. I'm trying to be excited. I'd rather be in New York City. But I'm back in my dorm, and I've got to do some cleaning. So, no hair fix. I also want to apologize because I know that the sound on my computer is really garbled. Um, I'm working on that. I swear, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we'll have that fixed. Okay, so favorite characters. I've been thinking about this all week. Literally, all freaking week. And I kept coming back to one character, and I wanted to have a different character because it's so cliche, but I kept coming back. So, Mr. Darcy. <laughs> I know Gretchen considered him for hers, and I think she's crazy for picking freaking Anne Shirley over Mr. Darcy. Just saying, Gretchen. Just saying. I love Mr. Darcy. He is the absolute most perfect love interest. I strive to have characters that are as appealing and entertaining and amazing as Mr. Darcy. But why is he amazing? Why, you ask? Oh, because he is. Because there's something incredibly appealing about that mysterious guy character that's so closed off. And you just kind of want to crack him. You want to break in. You want to get under his skin. You want to learn more about him. And it's just really hot. Um, especially when he does turn out to not be this bastardly character that you thought he was. He's actually a great guy. And it's so swoon-worthy. And um, I think that's what makes a great character when he's so three-dimensional and he's not what you expect. You don't expect him to save Elizabeth's family um, from humiliation. You don't expect that he would fall in love with her, but he does. And it's so sweet and so amazing. And you're truly rooting for him, despite the fact that he pretty much called her ugly in the beginning of the book. And, yeah, I love that. I love characters like him. I hope it shows up in my writing. Um... When you see three-dimensional characters, Mr. Darcy is the type that I strive for, people that do things you don't expect, and he still loves them. So, that's my favorite character. No Wolverine crawls, no ponies, no cocktail shakers, sorry, just messy hair and a dorm room. But I did talk about Mr. Darcy, so I get points. So, I'll see you guys next week. We're doing more Blanket Forts. Bye!